So why do we need, even need to look at energy systems? Energy systems at level two um, are really important because here you're going to understand how you can program and train your clients in correct zones. And those zones are going to help you achieve their goals, help you program so that they can actually achieve their goals, which is at the end of the day what we're setting out to do from a fitness perspective. Also, it's really important that we understand the limitations of each energy system because that will affect our programming and our instructing in turn. And also what we expect of our clients. It'll help us understand the effect of exercise on different bodies and how everybody's slightly different. And also, just worth me saying here, when we train our heart and lungs, when we're doing a cardiovascular session, we're actually training our energy systems. So we're working in set energy systems. And it's really important just to shift that focus slightly to training in set energy system mm -hmm. zones rather than thinking of training heart and lungs or muscles in particular. So let's get started and we'll introduce you to the three different energy systems that we have in the body and what they actually do, what's the function of them um, in relation to exercise, in relation to movement. So I'm going to start off by explaining something about um, ATP. So if you've come across this, maybe if you've read it in your books already, or this might be totally and utterly new for you. Either way, let's go through them really nice and basically. ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So you can see on screen there's a, a molecule called adenosine and there's three P's next to it. They're phosphates. So tri meaning three, adenosine and three phosphates. These join together into a molecule. And this is the only currency that our body can use for fuel, for energy. So everything needs to be in ATP in order to allow us to create movement, in order to, us to allow us to do things with the energy that we consume. So it's the job of the energy systems to actually put this ATP together. That's the easiest way of looking at it. So it's the job of the, these three different energy systems to find different ways that it can create ATP so we can then move and we can use the energy that's in our body. Now, when we have, when we're using energy, when we release it, energy is released from actually splitting one of those P's away. So you end up with adenosine and two phosphates and then one phosphate sat on its own. And it's that breaking of that one lonely phosphate away that causes this spark, causes this energy. And that gives us the energy to create the movement or to create the muscle contraction that we're after as part of the sport we're playing, part of the exercise that we're doing. So really when you're looking at it, all that's happening in energy systems is the process of taking a P away and putting it back on. So it's just a case of this connectivity between ATP and ADP. Now, this might sound a little bit complex, but at level two, really all you need to understand is that ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is the currency that we um, are able to create energy from. We can't do it when there isn't ATP. So it's actually the job of those energy systems to come back and take that ADP, where we've got an adenosine, and we've got two phosphates, and we've got a lonely P, it's the job of those energy systems to pop a P back on so we can then use that molecule all over again for ATP. So there are three different ways that we can do that, that we can create ATP in the body. The first one is the phosphocreatine system. So we can call it the PC system. And this is totally anaerobic. It doesn't use any oxygen at all. So when we say anaerobic, we mean not using oxygen. Then we have the lactic acid system, and this one is also anaerobic, which means, again, it doesn't need oxygen in order to create us these energy systems, in order to create ATP and therefore have energy. Also, the final one is the aerobic system, and that's what you're using right now if you're sitting down or doing your daily tasks. It's aerobic. We're using oxygen as part of the main way that we're creating the ATP so we can go about our daily activities so that we can work in this aerobic zone. We're going to go through all three of these in loads more detail now so that you kind of get a greater understanding of actually how we break down um, and how we create energy in the body. Now, these three energy systems are like three pans on a hob. So if you think about it, you've got three pans, they're bubbling away all the time. They're kind of just left there simmering. You've got water in these pans, they're just simmering. 
This is the same as all three of those energy systems. So imagine one of those pans is PC system, one's lactic acid and one's aerobic. Now, if we're sitting down, just chilling out, um, maybe doing our revision, listening, we're mostly using the aerobic zone. Um, so it's going to be like we're turning up the heat on the aerobic zone. So we're just, just literally bubbling away. But it doesn't mean that we've switched off the other two entirely. So what's really important to understand at this stage is it's not black and white. We're not all one or the other. Most of the time we're using little pieces of all of the energy systems to make up our availability of movement. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you find revising for your level three A and P exam hard going? After all, there's so much to learn that it's hard to know where to begin. Maybe you've read your course materials cover to cover, but it just doesn't seem to stick in your head or even scoured YouTube and Google for more answers and perhaps feeling nervous about the thought of your fast approaching exam. Well, what if I said learning can be fun, easy and have direction? See, most people struggle at learning and revising for one main reason. They hit the books, they start reading, and soon find themselves doing other things. Maybe this is you. Why? Because you don't have structure or know where to start reading. Consequently, all this new information just doesn't sink in. Whereas when you're in the classroom, everything seems to make much more sense, and even heavy going topics hit the brain with clarity. Why is that? See, it's all down to how you learn. Sitting and reading is great and it does make a difference, but it's not the only way. You must have a plan of action and a strategy that aligns with how you learn best. Seeing and hearing someone else deliver the information makes the world of difference. And maybe you've already searched YouTube and Google for this, but not found enough to truly guide and help you. Imagine having all your course materials in one place with an expert international tutor talk you through each A&P topic in detail with over five hours of video and downloadable cheat sheets to guide you. See, you're going to be left knowing and not guessing. You're heading to the exam room with 100% confidence and clarity in all areas of your A&P. So no matter where you are, you can access it. It's like having a walking, talking course folder 100% of the time. And what's more, you can contact us if you have any questions. Well, this is all inside the Parallel Coaching Revision Mastery Series. With your exam fast approaching, you know that the only way to pass now is to have a proven strategy. A strategy that will supercharge your understanding and leave you confident for your exam. See, there's nothing we like more than hearing from people just like you that have aced their exam. So check these out. We've got Gemma. She had a huge thank you to Parallel Coaching. The online modules made all the difference. She left the exam feeling sure of a pass and I can't thank you enough. It means so much as I've tried a couple of times now and find you guys made all the difference. Steve. I've just been going through the modules and feel really confident I will pass. In fact, I'm aiming for 100% now. Also, I never quite realized how A&P related to the actual job of being a personal trainer. Jane at the bottom, I found learning in the classroom suited me and my home studies were really tricky. I'm very pleased I found you guys to help coach me through my exams and made my home study more structured, being able to watch each module time and time again. And then Yolandi, hi Haley. as you know, my English is not great and I struggle a lot. The videos were so clear and I could learn at my own speed. I really want to thank you. And all this is inside the Revision Mastery for you. There's seven modules, seven cheat sheets, revision questions, plus bonus material and videos. And you can see there, module one is heart and lungs, module two, musculoskeletal system, module three, muscle names and location, module four, posture and core, module five, nervous system, module six, the endocrine system, with module seven being the energy systems. So stop hitting your head against the desk and join us now in the Parallel Coaching Revision Mastery Classroom. Just follow the link below.